Hey everyone, this is Nitro. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the update that was released on Thursday, September 3rd, 2020 on the international server. So this update adds uh, several new things. Uh, the first, of course, is the Trails of Truth event that is now running. And from this event, you can get shards of the SR hero Altina, presumably, and a limited time avatar frame. So if I go over here, I believe there is an initial battle you have to clear. So I'm just going to skip the dialogue here for now because I'm going to do this battle later. So I'm just going to retreat here because I don't want to fight it out yet. Just want to take a look at the event. So jumping in, you can see that there is several locations, five of them in total. And it's one of those exchange rewards events where you farm up materials of three different types and exchange it for rewards. Can't really go into the details right now because I haven't done the battle yet. But that is the first event. The second one, of course, is a banner. Light's Last Respite. And this one is a banner with Maya and Yulia. Both heroes are quite good, although Yulia is now considered mostly obsolete for PvP content. Maya is mainly for unlocking bonds, specifically Ares' bond. So given I'm currently missing Maya and I do use Ares, I do need to draw for Maya. Finally, the third event is actually in the store and it's skins. A skin for the juggler plushie and a skin for Chibi Almeida. I thought these skins were supposed to be 188, uh, skin vouchers, it's actually 118, which is a bit of a surprise. So I'm actually going to buy the juggler plushie one. And since I actually use juggler, whereas I don't use Almeida. Gift packs for this week, the new one is the following, the skin voucher pack, where it's $20 for 98 skin vouchers and you can purchase, purchase it twice. So if you're interested in both skins, you can kind of purchase this twice and get almost enough skin vouchers to buy both of the skins. Almost. Actually, I'm just going to quickly equip that skin on my juggler because I know I'm going to forget otherwise. So let's change clothes, wear, replace battle skin at the same time. And now this is the way my juggler looks. And so at this point, I am going to start summoning on the banner to try to get Maya. So here we go. So I should also mention, this is one of the banners where you can exchange with as long as you have a space-time essence. But to get the space-time essence, you have to draw for a hero that you already have at six stars. And you actually need 60 shards of a hero to convert into the actual hero. In other words, if I get Yulia, I'm actually going to need two copies of Yulia to get Maya. So that is going to be annoying. It's going to be a little bit luck based, but let's begin at this point. I am hoping to just get Maya as the first SSR. So nothing on the first 10 summon. Nothing with 20. Nothing with 30. Nothing with 40. Nothing with 50. Uh oh, not another dry banner. <laughs> Oh, it's looking gloomy. 
Nothing with 60 summons now. Nothing on 70. No SSR in 80. No SSR in 90. So it's going to be a uh, pity rate. And here is the 100th summon. Maya! Good! Okay. I'm okay with that. 100 summons to get the hero that I needed. I'm not going to complain about that at all. It would have sucked if I did 100 summons for another copy of Yulia. Then I would have had to draw another copy of Yulia or get Maya. But uh... You know, 100 summons. At the end of the day, to get the hero that you need, that's fine. I'm okay with it. And so my reserves have dropped down dramatically, but there's not really any banner I really want to summon on coming up, so it's okay overall. So now that I do have Maya, if I go into Ares, I can now finally unlock his fourth bond and get that maxed out. Because his fourth bond requires you to clear I can handle Al Hazard with Maya's help. And the map I can handle Al Hazard is actually the fourth battle. So I am going to have to waste one run to unlock the bond, but it is worth it. Just gonna have to figure out who I will do one less farming battle of. Which I suspect will probably be Licorice. It just fits in because I don't need Licorice to do every single run to hit the to hit six stars properly, right? Right now I have fifty six shards at one hundred. Um, if I so if I do one hundred minus fifty six, I need forty four shards of him, of her. Sorry, right? So forty four plus one is equal to forty five, which is divisible by three. So I can afford to lose one run and still finish Licorice in. The proper time frame. So that's what I'm probably gonna do. Tomorrow I'll do two runs of Licorice, four runs of Ares to, to unlock his bond, and then I guess three runs of Rin as usual, and that will get me set up to have a properly built. So thanks for watching everyone, I hope you found this video useful to you, and on that note, Nitro out.